Ongezeko la visa vya dhulma za kijinsia dhidi ya watoto mbali na ukosefu wa makao maalum ya kuwashughulikia waathiriwa wanaposubiri haki itendeke imekuwa changamoto kubwa kwao. Isitoshe ugonjwa wa COVID-19 umesababisha baadhi ya makao ya watoto yatima kusitisha shughuli ya kuwasajili watoto zaidi. Kama anavyotueleza Raken Mwigai, kuna wale ambao wamejitwika jukumu la kuziba pengo hilo. Asha bitoka mbali sio jina lake halisi ni msichana mwenye umri wa miaka minani. Furaha aliyonayo wakati huu ikificha masaibu yaliyomkumba miezi mitatu iliyopita. The girl cannot tell how many times she only says Daddy waits for the night to come and then he comes does this and this and that. The doctors are the ones who actually told us they they, they have confirm, confirmed the penetration from front and back and they said it's regular. Gladys Wanjiro anasema unyama huo uliendelea kwa muda kabla ya hatua kuchukuliwa. Grace na wenzake walikuwa kizuri walikoishi msichana huyu kuwapelekea chakula na bidhaa zingine muhimu. One of the ladies is the one who gained the courage and she told us that this girl came to me and she complained she's having pains on her front uh, the, her private part front and back and the neighbor checked and she found that she is not okay but the neighbor didn't know what to do so she just left it at that kwa kawaida hatua ya kwanza ilikuwa ni kutoa ripoti katika kituo cha polisi kisha kwenda hospitalini ili msichana huyu achunguzwe na mwisho wake kuarifu maafisa wa watoto kuhusu swala hilo kwani tayari baba mzazi alikuwa amekamatwa na mama wa watoto hawa hajulikani aliko I'm in communication with the children's office and uh, what they told me is that the government is cutting down on children's home admission and the reason they gave me is two number one is because uh, the, the kids become very institutionalized so that is why they don't want to take them to a children's home and then they say when it is time that this child has now grown and they want to reintegrate them back to the society it becomes very difficult hilo likimlazimu gladis kumchukua msichana huyu na dada zake wawili taswira ambayo inaonyesha pengo zilizoko humu nchini katika masuala ya kuwalinda wale waliodhulumiwa haswa wakati huu wa janga la covid-19 and the 1195 number that is housed at the ministry of gender uh, also sometimes when they receive calls they don't know where to place these survivors because if I'm a child and it's my father who's violating me I need to be removed from that that space fast you know before anything else happens kwa mujibu wa shirika la equality nao serikali ina makao moja tu ya kuwalinda waathiri wa hawa makao hayo yako katika kaunti ya Makweni kaunti zingine na sita zikitegemea mashirika yasiyo ya kiserikali Kisumu for example has three uh, constructed ones uh, supported by uh, different um, organizations to build it up and the county government but it has not been equipped so it is almost like a shell that is not useful uh, to to survivors Most of the shelters that we have are run by NGOs, non-governmental organizations who rely on donor funding, which means that if money runs out, then they might be forced to close. Na ukuu visa vingi vikiripotiwa kila kuchao, maswali yanaibuka kuhusu ni vipi wale ambao wamedhulumiwa watapata msaada. Kwa sasa Gladys anasema kuwa atasalia na watoto hawa hadi siku ambayo Mola atapenda. Bahati au baraka ya wasichana hawa kupata makao ni kinyume sana na wengi kama wao waliodhulumiwa. Ugonjwa wa COVID-19 na mapengo ya hapa na pale yakiwafanya wengi kunyamazia hadithi zao na kuendelea kuumia kila siku. Raka Mwigai Runinga Citizen Nairobi.